Hey, it's me, Vicky Marie, and I'm going to be the fairy on top of the Christmas tree for these Advent calendars. Well, I may change my outfit on some of them, but anyway, welcome to the 1st of December. So, that welcome to the Vicky Marie Chats Advent calendar video advent calendar so every day for this month of august august for this month of december i'm going to do a positive video to make us feel good in the lead up to christmas and today's video is going to be what we've been collecting all the way through november and all you uh, subscribers members everybody's been sending me in pictures of either your pets or um, sort of animals that visit your gardens, you know, so or so other people's animals, you know, just we've been overdosing on animals all the way through November and I've put them together and I've made a little video and that's today's Advent calendar video. Little feel good video of lots of lovely animals just to make you feel good on this 1st of December 2023. So it's at this, this series of videos, one every day, it really will be like an advent calendar because you don't know what you're going to get, but you can depend on that it will be positive. Okay, let's have a look at this video then. I've got it all set up so you know it's all going to go wrong. Oh, not really.
Thank you. 
So, wow, how many photos of people's animals came in and what a diverse selection of animals. So there was all sorts there, wasn't there? Where there was dogs, cats, horses, gerbils, guinea pigs, um, ponies, uh, lizards, bearded dragons, turtles, I mean, fish, snakes, gosh loads of different pets now you can see i was sort of dancing in the background and i just want to make it clear i am on coffee i really am this mad you know sometimes people seem to think i'm on somewhere i don't need to i'm high on life so i'm no different whether i've been drinking coffee tea wine vodka whatever and i do not take drugs except for ibuprofen uh, I have had an ibuprofen this morning. Maybe that's why I'm all giddy. Yes, because it's very early in the morning here. But I just wanted to give you a smile. First day, the Advent, it, actually Advent doesn't actually start till Sunday. And I was going to wait till Sunday. And then I thought, no, it's the 1st of December. It's the 1st of December. We, we can officially start to talk about Christmas. So that's it. So every day I'll be here with a little video just to try and make you smile. You know, you probably think, oh, what a, what an idiot. But you know what, I don't care. Because uh, Christmas is a very difficult time for lots of people. And this is just what I want to say before I finish, sort of making a little bit, uh, bringing the, making the tone a little bit more somber. But it is, as you know, it's a difficult time if you're estranged from your family for any reason, maybe estranged from your partner and so you're not seeing your kids. You may be um, estranged just for, from your kids, you know, because this happens for whatever reason. So you don't see your grandkids, maybe, or there's lots of reasons why people don't look forward to Christmas. They may not be looking forward to it because they've got no money and it's going to be a massive stress for them to get the presents for the kids that they need to get, um, you know, Everybody else seems to have loads of money, maybe, to you. And, of course, your kids are always in competition with other kids, you know, get that, oh, such and such is uh, dad has bought him this or, you know, and it's hard. It's very hard for everyone, families and single parents. So that's another reason that people might not be looking forward to Christmas. They want to look forward to Christmas, but they know it's going to be a big stress. Of course, the other reason is, like uh, Nicola Bully's girls, and not only Nicola Bully's girls, but many other children this year will have lost a parent and be facing the first year, first Christmas without that parent. So, you know, we can't just concentrate on uh, Nicola Bully all the time. There's lots of families in that position. Some children might have lost both parents, you know, then there's wars going on. Oh, you name it. So uh, if we haven't got those problems and then other people just might be lonely because they're maybe they've lost their partner. And they live miles away from their family and they can't get there for Christmas or the family can't come to them. So it can be crushingly lonely at Christmas. I know I've spent Christmases on my own. And then you don't want to go somebody else's for Christmas sometimes because the reason that you're spending Christmas on your own is probably a traumatic family reason. You don't want to go to someone else's house because you don't want to bring the mood down. And also it's quite, um, can bring it sort of all to you. You can feel it 
more strongly watching everybody else everybody else always seems to have a great time don't they christmas but i think normally by the end of christmas everyone's sick of each other however happy they might have started it off to be and a lot of crimes occur you know around christmas which because it all these things come to a head don't they so what i want to say is whatever your situation is if you're if you're in a good situation and maybe you know neighbors around you that might be on their own or you know uh, especially older people etc or you know families that are struggling you can always help a little bit can't you even just by knocking on the door and saying you know are you okay uh, do you need anything you know because a lot of people won't ask they certainly won't ask people they don't know um for help a lot of people don't ask for help and people think they're okay but they're not okay they're just maybe too proud to ask for help too independent don't like to bother anyone so yeah it's always worth you know if you've got anybody like that living around near where you are they might just want a little chat that can make all the difference to them little chat here and there you know not need there be people out there that are lonely but they're not they've not got financial problems maybe but they've got emotional problems because they're lonely there'll be people out there are not lonely they've got financial problems oh you know so what I'm trying to say is always be kind. Uh, you know, my chatters are nearly always kind. And, you know, I think it's important to be kind because you don't know what somebody else is going through. You know, you can look at someone and think, oh, like me, I'm sat here in a, this wig and acting silly. But nobody knows what's going on in my life. Nobody knows what's going on in your life or anybody else's so we have to remember to be kind so that's my christmas message for today always be kind and if you can't be kind just don't say anything okay so live and love wisely have a good first of december i'll see you and uh, you know in between i will probably be doing lives and things like that I'm going out to lunch today so i'm not sure if i'm doing a live tonight because i'll probably have little drinky poos and um you know so maybe maybe not so i'll feel later and uh yeah remember to live and love very wisely very carefully i i love this wig so much i just want to wear it all the time but i don't think this would go down well in my little village if i started walking down the street in this um i'll see you very soon in the next video and until then May your God go with you. Happy 1st of December. Bye.